Hi everyone, Craig here, Development Manager at Swiftcase, the professional productivity platform. Breaking a habit is hard. You might bite your nails, smoke cigarettes, or indulge in one too many soft drinks throughout the day. Me, I'm a tab addict. And if your browser regularly looks anything like this, then you may find that you have a bad tab habit too. The ability to consolidate multiple windows into manageable tabs that we could easily switch between made us believe that we could get more done. But it wasn't until recently that I found that this was actually hindering my productivity and not helping it. So why does it affect your productivity? In short, too many tabs reduce your focus and concentration. Studies have shown that untidy screens decreased response times amongst doctors and hospitals and actually increased their stress levels. This is exactly what a large number of browser tabs does to us too. Not only do they affect us mentally, but they can also significantly impact the performance of your computer, tablet or smartphone. This is particularly true when you've got multiple web apps such as Google Docs, Netflix and Spotify all open in your browser at the same time. According to Lifehacker, nine is the maximum number of tabs you should have open at any one time, as it means we can easily access each tab using either the control or command keys, depending on if you're a Mac user or Windows user, and a number key such as control and two that would open the second tab, for example. So how do you break this bad tab habit? Tabs can be a super useful tool if used correctly, but to stop them from spiraling out of control, we need to assess the different ways we're using them. Number one, regularly used apps and services. The great thing about tabs is it allows your browser to become the all-in-one app to manage cloud services such as email, documents, availability, to-do lists, and so on. However, if you find that you aren't using these services regularly, consider closing the tab. I usually bookmark these sites to keep everything clean and tidy instead. Number two is interesting pages for later. If your tabs are full of interesting posts, useful information, or looking like a shopping cart, consider using some handy tools to save these tabs for later. Pocket is a fantastic app that allows you to save stories to be read later when you have the time for it. Additionally, Tab Wrangler is a great extension for Chrome that moves unused tabs into a queue of up to 100, so you can access it for later. This is handy for weeding out the tabs that you don't need without even thinking about it. I don't advise using bookmarks for storing these particular tabs, as they tend to be one use or completely forgotten about. You don't want to move all your unused tabs into bookmarks, as you just end up with another unruly list. This means you can close the tabs, focus on your work, and get round to it when the time's right. Number three is social media. Now, social media is actually a huge productivity killer for staff. So my advice here is to simply cut it out of your day or set particular times to check it throughout the day. Perhaps during lunch, if your work involves managing social media, there are a number of great tools out there that can help you to consolidate this all into one tab. Hootsuite is a great example, Social Pilot. These centralize your social media management into one easy to use app where you can monitor all your different accounts all in one place. Super handy. And number four is a to-do list. Much like our previous video on email management, don't let your browser turn into a to-do list. If you're storing tabs as a list of items to attend later, consider using a workflow management tool to simply store these tasks and delegate them to avoid the distraction. So there you have it. Four ways to break the habit and regain your productivity again. I'm Craig from Swiftcase, and if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe below. Check out our social media channels at Swiftcase UK. And until next time, have a great day.